the screening mm. of hearing in newborn is done in almost all countries and uh, tests used are auto acoustic emissions and uh, auditory brainstem response oae and uh, automated abr this is a, a instrument for that a screening instrument and the waveforms are uh, will tell us as refer or pass in both cases so uh, the first one is auto acoustic emissions and uh, auto acoustic emissions you know it's a low intensity sounds generated by the cochlea probably by active mechanical contraction of the outer hessel so in screening uh, cases screening procedure we use transient evoked uh, auto acoustic emissions so click sounds are given and the auto acoustic emissions are uh, recorded uh, by using a, a plastic prop this plastic prop contains both a transmitter and a microphone and that is inserted into infant's ear and the transmitter uh, sends sounds down to the inner ear which make vibrations in the outer hairs and uh, they are picked up by the microphone and that is the ear echoes and they are detected by the auto acoustic emission machine the probe is very soft and comes in correct size so no discomfort to the child but um, this oa machine is very sensitive to background noise and also by the noise generated by the baby and there is chance of false positive uh, result if the external auditory canal of the neonate is occluded by vernix caesiosa and also by if there is poor probe placement and a crying or an uncooperative infant and also this oae will not detect diseases or disorders caused by auditory neuropathies okay and but it needs less preparation time and also a shorter uh, test time and it is less expensive and less invasive than an auto acoustic emission so after the test time the instrument will give us an refer or pass uh, result it will display on the screen and the regime is if it, this is done as a universal neonatal screening and if the first time in a neonate if it is given as a refer see it is refer and then we can uh, do it after one month at four weeks along with the immunization schedule and if again it is coming as refer go with an automated abr this is an automatic abr we have to do that on right side and also on the left side and both both ears and this abr measures how the auditory nerve and the brain respond out three electrodes are placed on the baby's head one is on the uh, forehead then on the right side and the left posterior areas and the uh, electrodes has color codes also red for right blue for left and green or yellow for the neutral or the over the uh, forehead and the clicks at 35 db are played through the soft earphones and the morphology and latency of the waveforms are compared with a normal and a pass or the fail uh, reading is generated and examiner does not see the waveform and if the seal is not correct it will display on the screen then we have to repeat the procedure with the correct uh, ear plug see that this takes around 4 to 15 minutes of test time and so if uh, this can be done as a universal screening program or a selective screening for oae universal screening at the time of new, uh, newborn age if it is uh, rougher then repeat the oae after uh, four weeks or one month time and if again it is uh, rougher go with an uh, abr testing and along with that you have to advise a complete audiological assessment this is on the left uh, right side i think it is uh, going to be pass uh, looks like a normal waveform it is very easy actually a morphology and latency of the waveforms are compared with a normal pass or fail reading is generated but in a screening abr the examiner does not see the waveform 
let us see what the uh, screen display come as if it is normal it is pass if it is uh, default or if it is hearing problem it will come as a rougher so OA here came as rougher anyway we have to remember to do that on both sides okay Ah, yeah, that said it is a pass. We have to do that on the other side. We can repeat that on the opposite side. And also uh, remember the universal screening and also the selective screening. Universal screening is a targeted population for all newborns. Selective screening is for high risk um, children. If there is a family history or any uh, genetic problems or uh, you any uh, high risk high risk screening and it is always advisable to go for a universal screening there are so many risk factors also for that that you have to study so a sc uh, universal screening a newborn period and after one month of age and again if it is uh, OA is rougher then go with an ABR this side I think it will be uh, faulty side it will be uh, rougher because you can see the difference in the waveform between uh, from the other side so by this we can uh, diagnose a hearing loss of more than 35 dB here it will come as a rougher I think Yeah, see it is.